Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Bill Flanders. I'm the executive director of the Nanofabrication Lab. Today, it's my pleasure to present the Citrus Academic Leadership Award. The Citrus Academic Leadership Award recognizes senior leaders in academia or national labs who've demonstrated a record of accomplishment as well as have encouraged and mentored young scholars. This year's Citrus Academic Leadership Award is presented to Professor Sujay King Liu. Sujay King Liu holds the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Distinguished Professorship in Microelectronics in the College of Engineering and is currently serving as the Vice Provost for Academic and Space Planning at UC Berkeley. Professor Liu's research is focused on advanced materials, fabrication processes, and devices for energy efficient electronics. She has authored or co-authored over 500 publications and holds over 90 patents. She received her BS, MS, and PhD degrees in electrical engineering from Stanford University. Her nominator, one of her nominators spoke of her leadership in promoting diversity in technology, quote, as faculty director of the Berkeley Microlab, Professor King initiated the Berkeley Microlab High School Girls Intern Program in 2001. She saw a need and she acted. I get to tell you that nominator was me, so I'd like to tell you just one more piece. <laughs> Sujay embraces an expression I first heard from another tech leader, president and CEO of Dwell Magazine, Michaela O'Connor Abrams who I heard at a seminar say, imagine you can't fail. While many other leaders have presented this or a similar expression, I believe Sujay embraces it. But she does something more. She encourages those around her to live up to this outlook as well. Sujay, for your leadership, your mentorship, and your sponsorship, thank you. Thanks so much, Bill, and thanks, Camille. Actually, I was not told in advance that I'd have a chance to say a few words, but I did want to thank um, the committee for their, for ki their kind consideration. Um, it's really humbling to be the, uh, a winner of this first uh, inaugural award. And I, um, I was really impressed by the speakers earlier, and I agree with everything they said in terms of the advice, and I share a lot of their experiences in myself in my own career. Um, I think one of my um, the achievements that I've been most proud of are working together with the EECS department staff and students and faculty to really try to cultivate a, a community that is more appreciative of diversity. I've learned um, over time that you know, we, we can do a lot to increase diversity, but if we don't make diverse people feel a part of our community, then it really doesn't really help. In, in the end. So it's wonderful to see such a diverse um, group of leaders, um, not only gender, but um, within the, the, the group of women to see a lot of diversity among the women themselves. Because, you know, it's not good to have all women that, that are the same, right, <laughs> to, uh, to help to brought, that doesn't, um, that doesn't achieve the goal of uh, uh, increasing diversity. So I, I look forward to talking with a lot of you, hopefully maybe during the reception. I have to run off to a meeting, but I will be back for the reception. I'd be happy to share my own experiences with you all today. But as I said, um, it's an, a great honor for me to receive this award, and I look forward to supporting and sponsoring many of you in the future to achieve your, and maybe even beyond your, your dreams, uh, professional achievement. So thank you so much for your kind support. Thank you. 